I'm turning this little effects keychain toy into a professional drum machine. Today I will build this wire mess I created in part one of this series. Go watch that video into a case. Ooh. Hi, I'm Jay Walto, maker of weird and strange instruments. And I thought, what if I just designed a bigger version of this keychain toy and use that as a case? Why not? So that is exactly what I did. Wow. This 3D printed case is made from four parts and it took around 14 hours to print. I thought it was funny to add this little cute arcade button. Cutie! So you can still use this toy as it was intended, only a bit bigger. These arcade buttons have little LEDs inside of them, so with a bit of nerd magic, these things will also light up. So let's build this wire mask into this case. But before we can do that, I will take all of these electronics from this breadboard and solder them onto a PCB board. Boom. In my last video about this toy, I connected a TNC to this keychain toy. In that video, I used another transistor to control the buttons of this toy. Now when you make this pin coming from the microcontroller high, this transistor will open up the gate from ground to one of these button pads. And then it is as if you are pressing a button on this keychain toy. Today I will add these cute arcade buttons to the digital input pins from the microcontroller. So we can register these button presses separately. But these buttons also have LEDs inside of them. I will connect those LEDs to the collector pin of this transistor. So then these buttons will also light up when I'm not pressing them but when I'm controlling this instrument with a computer or a sequencer. Cool! To spare myself some time I'm going to recycle one of these PCB boards. I created those two hack different devices with MIDI. Like I did in the video where I hacked a Super Nintendo for VJing. The only thing that I need to add to this board are the LEDs and the button inputs. And because an Arduino Pro Micro is a lot cheaper than a Teensy and it also has the USB MIDI functionality. I will use these instead. And the main reason is, of course, that it just fits on this PCB board. Now it's finally time for some nerdy magic. Let's build this PCB board. I didn't cut these collector pins from the transistor, so I can solder these pins onto another perf board and connect the electronics for the LEDs on here. It's a bit ugly, but who does really care when this is inside of the case? Why do I always do this to myself? If I didn't even want to add a MIDI port over here. I wanted to add wires and connect this MIDI port that I can put in my case. So now I need to solder this out. Pretty annoying. It's taking too long, I'm just going to do it the rough way. Don't be scared of electronics, kids. Sometimes it just helps when you suck the solder from one end and heat it up at the other end. At least that works a lot for me. So that was a lot of useless work. There is also a voltage regulator circuit over here, but I think I will just use the power from the USB, so I will just not do anything with this. I will be soldering these headers onto the Arduino, so I can still plug some breadboard cables into this Arduino after I solder it on top of this board. Before I will add this onto a perf board, I want to be sure these transistors are soldered in correctly. To do that, I made a little code where this Arduino just loops through all of these transistors. So now I can just check all of the connections with the multimeter. So I didn't make any mistakes. Good. The last thing I need to do before I can start working on the case is adding this little perf board onto this circuit board. So I can add some extra resistors on here that will connect to the LEDs of the arcade buttons. To keep the system a bit modular and easier to repair, I will be using these little plugs so I can connect the arcade buttons more easily. And they're not always stuck to this circuit board. And now I broke these pins. Let's remove them all. There goes my plan. I don't like doing more work.
So because the transistor pins broke off, I made this system where I can just connect this circuit board to this perf board. And I think it's even a better solution. When something breaks down, I can just replace it more easily. Now I can easily plug these buttons into these little sockets. Now let's make something fast for these button inputs. I'm finally done soldering all of these wires together and I already written the code. I'm really done with this project. I'm really, really done with this project. So let's build everything in this case very fast and then it's finally time for some music making. Finally, I'm really, really done with this project. What a mess did I make? And it's gone. Bye. reached my first thousand subscribers so please help me out and press that subscribe button see you next time <laughs>